We're in the gym with Brian K. Mitchell, and uh, <laughs> did I make you proud in there? Yeah, you did. You didn't make yourself even proud after this workout. <laughs> How uh, did yeah. you do that, man? Well, well, I was lifting weights. I, I have to lift light, so I was lifting hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to pay for it, too. I know I am. It's okay. Well, you, you'll survive. I'll survive. <laughs> still rehabbing, still trying to get back to where I can go full bore. But uh, what, what kind of exercises are you working on today? Abs. Abs. Mine yeah. just got to work out. Yeah, there you go. Well, they got to get a workout. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Age old question I get from people um, from all walks of life. Oh, I want a flat stomach. I want a flat stomach. First thing I hit them with is diet. Yep. Diet, diet, diet. You can go in the gym. I'm guilty of it. And uh, do as many ab crunches, sit ups, all you want, right? But if you don't tweak that diet, it's not going to work for it's you. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's, it's great to, you know, use that muscle, of course, but you still have to, uh, you know, cut back yeah. on some of the carbs, cut back on some of the sugar. And you, that workout may help you from getting worse, you, but you're not getting any better, right? Facts. It, yeah. Those there are facts. Those okay. are facts. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. Right. You know, just because you're eating bad don't mean you still need this some muscle. It is yeah. a muscle, and you still have to work it, and you should work it. I'm one of those, Tim, if I go... Um, weeks without doing an ab exercise, I get a really bad cramp, and I think we can all relate to that. Mm -hmm. And a really bad cramp in your stomach, it's like, oh my God, that's because you haven't used that muscle, that muscle yeah, group in a while. Since surgery, I haven't been able to do anything, and I'm like, I just want to get back at it. Absolutely. Well, I'm gonna show you an, uh, an ab exercise you, where you don't have to get off the, get on the floor, right? Because there are a lot of people, yeah. who, I just hate full exercises. You can do a plank, and there's one or two ways to do a plank, and it will help your back as well. Uh, I'm gonna do the one where I come down on my elbow. That's the regular version. Gotcha. And I'm gonna let you do, or if you wanna do the handstand, and just keep your back flat, keep your butt down. Man, it feels so great. I have back problems as well. Yeah. And this really does help stretch your back and strengthen your core. And if you hold this, I'm, I'm gonna go down. You stay there and just go down. I feel it in my abs. I feel my upper and my lower abs are pulling. And in the plank, you can do the same thing with the ab workout. I love that, I love that. And so, <clears throat> how often should people do that? Every other day, you can do it every other day. It's a muscle, it's a muscle, and that muscle has to relax, it must recover. Um, people who say, I do abs every day, not good. God bless them, God yeah. bless them. I, I, I right. have to let my, you know, it's recovery. You re reduce your chances of injury by uh, taking a day off. Oh, well, you know Makes what, sense? after those hot dogs, I need a little rest and recovery. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's getting on the floor and yeah. doing them. Yeah. You're taking a nap. Yeah, you no, said no, rest. No, 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 not that rest. Oh. That was rest, yeah. Thought I earned that with a little. Yeah, no, not I, eating all those hot dogs. Okay. How many did you eat, by the way? I just ate two dogs oh, and my half goodness. a bun in 60 seconds. That's about 100 sit-ups. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. It's time to get that workout on. Hey, work out those abs, whether you're eating hot dogs or not. Keep it here. we got more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m.